Hi, uh, my name is Tiana and I um, just started doing junk journals and I wanted to share my first fall junk journal with y'all and I'm super excited. Um, this is the cover. This is what the cover looks like. This is the side and this is the back. This is the spine jewelry. It can come off. And these are the little charms. There's a little heart. A little acorn for fall. And then this, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of folly. I liked it. Probably can't see it very well. And then this little charm right here. A little green one. Liked it. I think it's all fall colors. So I will open it up and let y'all see inside. I love it. <laughs> so it is a button and it just unbuttons. And then in the beginning, it just has a little letter to the buyer of whoever wants to buy this explaining kind of what it is and how it works. I always explain it like a memory box, but in book form. <laughs> so there's that. This is the first page. I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit this way. Pockets, coffee dyed journaling paper, journaling paper. coffee dyed paper, a little pocket with some goodies in there for you, a little notepad, um, some stationery with a little coffee dyed envelope. There's also, I don't know if you guys seen this or not, but it's stationery for you. Um, a doily, coffee dye doily. It is a pocket, however, I didn't put anything in it. Um, more journaling pages. I think it might have got stuck together. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, maybe. Oops. <laughs> so there's the journaling pages. I tried to put leaves throughout just so that it would kind of go with the book of fall. And it would just, it looks really pretty. Little birds, and a little ephemera. A little pop out. For some journaling. This is a little sticker for the buyer. Also, some more paper. I didn't change the song. I don't know how appropriate it is. Um, and then more journaling paper, more coffee dyed paper, little ephemera. Um, this was made out of a coffee filter and I just added a little button. I thought it was super cute. And then these pages are some scrapbook pages that I made um, for fall. So they are on Etsy, my scrapbook pages. This one is called Letter Size Butterflies, and this one is called Happy Harvest Kit. I think they turned out really well. Um, this is a little pocket, and I filled it with a bookmark, and it just says um, Gathering with Family, and it's also in Spanish. In Femlia. And then just some little stationery a king's card. I made it look kind of vintagey the best I could. I really like it. I think it's super cute. And then I had this fall little thing in here too. It's from a 3D little puzzle thing, but I like it better as a little card. I could use it as a postcard or something. And then more journaling card. I did make a little tab. I just started doing those. I'm not very good at this yet. I'm still only been doing it for less than a year, maybe a few months, but 
I love it. <laughs> so much fun. Um, there is a, this is another one of my scrapbooking pages from Happy Harvest Kit. And another one. I just thought it turned out really beautiful, and so I want to share it. <laughs> I'm not trying to get you to buy it. I just, I think it looks pretty, and I just wanted to share. Um, this is another one from my Happy Harvest kit. I thought it was beautiful. These are both from Happy Harvest. Coffee dyed paper, Happy Harvest kit. But I tried to put lines on there for journaling because it is a journal and people probably want to write in there. I don't know. <laughs> this is coffee dyed um, paper, coffee dyed doily, more coffee dyed paper. Um, this was a card and I just loved it and I had to, I cut it and then I put it on here as a pocket. And I put some bookmarks in here. They came from like a steampunky bookmarks stuff, but I just thought it went really well with fall. It's just really purity. So pretty, pretty. <laughs> um, I made this ephemera. I made it into a pocket and then I made this one a card my mom gave me and I actually made it and added it to a kit on Etsy. I forgot which one, but I really like it. She's really cute. So just thought I'd put her in there. Uh, more coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed tickets, you know, cause I can replace it with tickets or whatever they, the buyer, when I say they, I mean the buyer, whatever they decide. And then this is also from my Happy Harvest kit. I don't know if I'm supposed to have music playing in the background, but I just do because it makes me feel more comfortable. <laughs> this is from um, Happy Harvest kit as well. Both of these. I just thought they turned out beautiful. And I actually took that picture on a walk and then I just, I don't know. I thought it turned out really well. Again, Happy Harvest kit. And then I made some lines on this coffee dot, dyed, so that way they can chart or write or journal their thoughts and inspirations. More journaling paper, pop out with pockets. It's also journaling paper. This is another one from one of my kits. Mm, happy Harvest Kit. I like, I think this is one of my favorite pages. This is more journaling paper. I added a little tab on there. More journaling paper and this one pops out. And if you can see the mesh in the background, I'm sorry about that. I literally just got done with this journal and when I'm crafting, I get in the zone. <laughs> and I literally, I'm like a tornado <laughs> in my little craft zone. So it's not pretty. <laughs> um, this is also an ephemera I made. It's in one of my kits. And then I always try to put one of these little coloring pages in there for the buyer. You know, sometimes we get stressed out with work and life. And um, sometimes, you know, a little Bible quote and some coloring can make you feel better. A little Jesus. Love Jesus. But he always makes me feel better, so... I don't know. And then turn the page. Sorry, I'm rambling. Just got excited. Um, these are both from my Happy Harvest kit. They're both very beautiful pages. I really like them a lot. This is uh, another one from one of my kits. And then they, these little papers right here, I just folded them. They're just little kind of like index cards, but they're not index cards. They're just paper that I cut to fit, and then I wanted to make them in here more and then this is a another pull out but it's not a pocket it's just a pull out oops. oops and then this is a doily coffee dyed doily and then this is some tracing paper that i coffee dyed and i actually burnt the edges 
Um, I really like that look. I haven't done it in a while, so I decided to. And I actually had a hard time putting it out this time, so <laughs> it was kind of scary, but it turned out really pretty. Um, this is another page. You can't really see it that much because the fabric, but it's a happy little harvest page. Another one. I think they're really beautiful, so I just really like to share them. Um, just a little fairy ephemera. My mom gave me that, so I just I use it. I don't know. I like it. A little daisy or sunflower. Some more coffee dyed journal paper. I'm going to change the song again because it's probably not great. <laughs> I like it, but it's probably not great for if there's little ears listening. I don't know. Um, more coffee dyed journaling paper. More ephemera. Coffee dyed blank paper. A little envelope. Coffee dyed paper. <laughs> I put a lot of paper in here because. You know, I feel like people do like to write in their journals, so I try to make it writable and usable. So this is a card, and then they can chart in that, or journal in that. I don't know why I keep calling it charting. And then I put a little piece of Velcro in here, and um, they can go ahead and put stuff in the little envelope and whatever kind of knickknacks or whatever they might want to use and put in there for safekeeping. And then I made this a little pocket with some little ephemera, an old calendar, word of the day, and then some Dr. Seuss, because who doesn't love Dr. Seuss, right? Even as an adult. <laughs> and a little ephemera. I just thought it goes well. I like it. The other side to that one. A page in the back. Uh oh. Parts of the paper are falling off. Um, more doily, more journal paper, more journal paper. The other side to the Happy Harvest kit on one of those pages. This one's kind of more, this is from the Halloween kit, but I did think that it went well in this book because of the colors, so I did put it in here. And this is also from the Halloween kit. This is from the letter size butterflies. Turned out really beautiful. Halloween kit again. It is upside down, but I don't think anybody can tell. Um, letter size butterflies. I loved it. Turned out really pretty. Not sure if you can see it. Um, this is a coffee filter and it was sprayed pink. And more co more coffee dyed journaling paper. And then the other side to the letter size butterflies. And then it opens. But it's just gorgeous. I just love how it turned out. And I don't know how to edit these videos, so the bloopers are just going to be in there and... That's just how it is. <laughs> this is just writing paper. The other side of that Halloween paper. I just loved it. More coffee dyed paper, but I turn it into a pocket this time. And this is the last page. So, and I put this little thing in here. I love the little, I don't know what it's called tassel thing. I don't know. I like it on the paper clip. And then you just close it up and it's ready to go. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you think and sorry if I talk too much. Um, again, I'm not a professional YouTuber. It's just, um, I just wanted to share. I was really, really excited. So I wanted to share. So thank you. Have a good day.